Sometimes you're a day late to the party. I take a group of five out on a pothole shoot that should have been a slam dunk, but I ended up in a struggle that drug on all morning. I'm still baffled as to what happened, yet very grateful we managed to get it done. I can't believe they decoyed one at a time. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. I spotted this hunt yesterday. I, I've hunted this, this section probably 50 times, 80 times in my hunting career. Five quarters of land, big chunk of property, lots of rolling, rolling hills. Uh, this year it's wheat. And it, if it's wheat or barley, the birds are gonna be in it. It's pretty good. And oh, there's some snow geese. This snow's been going over all day, which was awesome. So anyways, I went and had a look at the puddle and what was odd is that the birds were leaving the puddle and they're going back to this other section, which I thought, well, that was weird. And then I come back up on a hill where I could glass and birds are going back. So there might be two independent, independent programs going, which I hope not. And our options are somewhat limited right now. We had a bit of a front come through and some cold north wind. So um, if this sticks, I'm gonna go on it and do a nice pothole shoot with these guys in the morning if it sticks. Mel's hunt kind of went sideways that he was looking at and um, Brian's, they jumped across the highway and he's, uh, he's trying to put that one together right now. So a little bit of a scramble mode right now. And you know, and, and the reason this happens is you get a little bit colder temperatures, you get some north wind and the birds just have this urge to feed. Their program doesn't stop and start like it does typically on days like that. It kind of carries out through the day and we just can't be here you know, all day watching them leap, leapfrog half a mile or a mile. So just uh, interesting how that changes. Uh, and it did go early today. The, I mean, Jay and uh, Jeff both went out. They had shoot some honkers this afternoon. Jeff's done, and I hadn't heard from Jason yet. So hopefully his goes well. Anyways, fill you in on, uh, on what's going to happen here in a little bit once I confirm this puddle hunt. Time to go. There's 800 acres in here, and there's got to be 10 or 12 puddles or potholes here, and they're all viable depending on where the birds feed. And where they are now, that should be the show. Like this morning, it would have been over in minutes. It was pretty crazy. And they'd fed there last night. So now we just have to confirm. I'm gonna poke my head over the hill, have a look if they're in there. Cause it's, I can't approach it from, from the west and go down and look into the big hill. Cause if I do, they're gonna see me. There's really no way in. So I can sneak around this one hill and then I can park the, the, the CRV and just kind of creep my head over. I'll get out of the get out of the car to have a look and and uh, see what happens. But I see birds leaving there, so I don't know what's going on. There's some going in. There's some leaving. You know, and it, it could be um, there's so many ducks in there. It could be a day roost situation for some where they're going to feed elsewhere, and it could be um, an actual feed for others where they puddle and feed. So I'll have to determine that in the next little bit and if they've been feeding for the better part of the day there's a couple going in holy cow they're like right there i gotta be very very careful here i gotta be very oh my gosh i think they're they're right there oh my god this phone keeps binging i don't need that to bing at the wrong time okay so i'm gonna park here and sneak up over through the trees and get a visual and see how many ducks i'm dealing with and then I gotta make sure that they feed here because if they leave, they may not come back because it just becomes it just becomes another body of water. If they feed on the side hill, they'll come back and they'll puddle, I'll be able to hit them there. Or wherever they feed, I gotta shoot a field rig. But I'd much rather I'd much rather hunt the puddle. Puddle hunts are fun and it's good. So grab my Cabela's binos and go take a look. Oh wow. More snow geese. That's cool. Snow geese are coming, that's good. Look at this, 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 look at this. Okay, watch see those, those ones. Okay, okay, we gotta get out of here. There's ducks right there. 
there, right there. We gotta get out of here. They're feeding over the hill. You see them there? Okay, we gotta get out of here. That was, that was not cool. Oh, it probably wasn't me. I could see him. Look what's coming over the hill. A couple deer coming over the hill right now. That's what spooked those ducks. So, I was going to check the puddle and I could see the ducks landing into the wind and then all of a sudden I could see a couple ducks walking and their heads went up and I thought it was me that startled them but it was two deer coming over the hill. So we should still be okay. Uh, anyways, I know they're feeding over the hill. This is good, they're feeding. We're gonna back out and go all the way around. There's a little lease road I can get through other part of the field where I can watch this corner. I gotta get out of here though, I can't stay. I gotta get out of here right now. Tonight was really weird. I mean, I got here, I mean, I, the ducks, I didn't even see them feeding here. I saw some feed, you saw it happen earlier. That must have been the very tail end of it. When we got here at 5.20, birds were already starting to leave the water. I'm thinking, well, that's weird. And then, of course, I heard them quacking in this other pond, and this pond had about 3,000, so I didn't lose any ducks, but now it's a, it's a split gig. I'll have to go, I'll, I'll check for the duck trails, I'll see where the wet marks are to see which puddle is it, it is that actually they fed around, and I'll have to determine that. I'll use a spotlight to do that and, and figure that out. It ended fast tonight, and they were leaving. The sun was still up, and they were leaving. They were heading to roost already. I went, oh, man. Called a good buddy of mine who's also an outfitter, and he said he was watching some birds right near his camp, and they were feeding at like 3.30, quarter to 4. So they fed early. Jeff shot all his geese tonight. He's done and back at the camp already. So obviously with this cold weather coming in, they must have sensed that and just got in and fed early. So we're gonna, we're gonna hunt the puddle tomorrow morning. It's gonna be cold, so we'll break a little bit of ice, I guess. But uh, nothing like a puddle hunt, you know, it should be fun. So it, interesting situation here. Like this, this lobe, I've hunted this lobe lots, and then there's four or five bays in this that get really complicated. And then there's about 3,000 ducks that finished up right on the other side, about 1,000 of them in here but that pond is ugly. So I'm gonna park the truck there like I have in the past. There's a good duck trail, it was wet. I'm sure those ducks fed all over this hill today. And then last night when I saw them this morning, this whole basin was full. So they spent the day here feeding and uh, I'm just gonna play the wind. I've got, I'm playing this pond no matter what. I'm parking the truck at the other one. Uh, Cause I've got, I've got, I can hunt this one in any wind except for really an east wind. And, uh, and I'll check that later. If I do have an east wind, I might be courageous and try hunt that other one. So anyways, that's that. I'll put the pin in the ground and this is where we're hunting. What a train wreck. Jesus. That was nuts. What we're gonna do is I got plastic, I have the plastic boxes right there and we're gonna slide them into the grass. But what I need you to do is, if you have gloves, you can steal grass from over there and you dress the boxes, just the lids, and then we're gonna slide them into place without knocking any of the frost off. We're gonna run the boxes right in here. You'll be at a nice angle, okay? I'm gonna throw it about 72 decoys right there, and then we're gonna put some the, the silhouette decoys right about right here, right in behind us, and it's gonna simulate a feed in this, except for look at this wind. Are you kidding me? Wind's supposed to be blowing out of the south. There's virtually no wind, because when I was here puffing, it was going the other way. I'll check wind finder, just give me a second. But whether we go to the other side or here, that's gonna be the plan. All right, so here's the situation. We've got a corner of this pond, and yesterday morning they absolutely smashed this. And the feed, we're in a big basin, and of course when the lights come on, we can show you that a little bit better. But the ducks had fed this entire basin, and then there's another pond 145 yards over the hill that, that a bunch of, there's about 3,000 ducks finished the night there and about 1,000 here. And, and that ended up being just from the activity, I could tell it was more of a, just a, a I just heard a duck, uh, more of a roosting puddle because they fed into the wind. We had a northwest wind last night. So anyways, we're gonna set up right in here, which puts us close to that pond and right into the feed and in order to simulate feeding ducks, we're gonna put a bunch of dive bomb decoys on the hill behind us, and then what'll happen is as the lights come on and the birds can see it, they'll target the robos, hopefully we get them finished in the water. If, they're, if it's 
cold like it is, like it's about minus six or minus seven right now, they may not want to puddle, they may want to come to feed. So rather than, than not have any field decoys with us, we're kind of going to have, we're going to have the best of both worlds. We're going to have a water rig in front of us and a field rig right behind us simulating a feed pattern and that's how, that's how we're going to get it done. As opposed to being in a field rig, which we could do, but with this much water and the size of these ponds, they start puddling, it could become a it could be problematic even with this volume. So anyways, that's the plan. Good to go. If anybody gets it done, Claudio gets it done. Thanks, Stuart. <laughs> bit of wind would be nice, huh? Here it comes. Here comes one. Uh, now, nah. kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. That's what I'm talking about. Right here. <laughs> drill it, drill it, drill it. Shoot it, right side. Shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> or don't shoot it. <laughs> Chris. Chris. Yeah. Not like that. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's here here's a couple more pitching in here. Ooh, right here, guys. Kill that one. Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, Cody dropped it right on the other one. Nice shot, Mr. Cody. I gotta go break up some of this ice a little bit. Just a little quick. Okay, these ones are locking in nice. All right, well. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Right side, go, go, go. Right side's having a bit of trouble this morning. Jumping single, in. single duck, guys. <laughs> go, kill it, kill it, kill it. You can kill that. Nice shot, nice shot, head shot. Oh, right here, right, oh, what is this? What is that rocket, little rocket cool. duck? What was that? That's an unidentifiable duck. If you can shoot it, I, I challenge you to hit that thing. God, what is it? <laughs> I don't even know what it was, but it was fast. Right, here's a single. Drill that one, drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him! Get him in here, kill him! Shoot him, shoot him! There we go. Okay, let's go. Oh, gosh, kill that one. Kill that one, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, right here, right here. Kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that one. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, let's time this right. We'll kill the two. Oh, kill the one. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, right here. Kill it, kill it, kill it! <laughs> get ready to kill this one. If you get a shot, kill it. Go, 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 go! Nice, 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 nice. Nice shooting, guys. We shot a pair! <laughs> nice! We got two! Oh, right here. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, it was killed. Oh, what it is. It's cooking. It's cooking. If you can shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> oh, my God. What is it? Oh, my God. Look at the peel. 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 I missed all those. Those peel. are yummy. Yeah, those eat good. Is that a teal there, too? Yeah. That was nice. The green wing. <laughs> kill him, boys. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him, too. 
single. Oh, a bunch of ducks here. Okay, right side, shoot it! Shoot it! Don't be nervous. Hit it. Don't let that be. Come on, left side. <laughs> look at this, 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 look at this. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice. <laughs> Okay, Greg, grab one of them robos from the water. That's pretty dead to me. Text out here. Oh, look at this right here. Where, where? Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. That's straight up. Nice shot, that far one. Finally hit one, Ben. Oh, I just heard it. Oh, right on top what? Of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming around again, guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Right side. Go, 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 go! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him again! Hit him. <laughs> Only Alberta can you really oh, shoot. You up a duck hunt. Nice shot, man. Ooh, look, it's pitching in. Get ready, boys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go. There's three. Now, who said they only want to put one shell in their gun last night? Make it, to make it last longer. That was bumper. Bumper. Damn, jinxed us. We gotta be close, huh, Claudia? What's that? We gotta be close. Where's, I have 30 on the clicker. There's two out front. Lock it down. Look, coming in. Where are they? Right here. Where? Oh, there's one right front. Come oh, in. right in front. Oh, yeah. Go, guys. Go, 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 go! Nice! <laughs> Who's that? Chris? That was me. That was Chris. Chris. He redeemed Chris, it. that was a redemption hey, shot. Was redemption. <laughs> You're not only fast, you stoned him. You almost put him in my box. Exactly. Very nice shot. That had to feel good, huh? You know, we'd had a bit of wind, even a little bit in the morning. I hear something. Oh, oh, look, kill it. Well, shoot kill it, it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> I think it's trying to land on our head. <laughs> that, one, that one was. <laughs> He was laying right behind me. Stuart, why did you grab it with your hand? <laughs> I, I, I should have. That's pretty crazy when you hear their wings. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's that sound. But going back to you bitching about, oh, well, it's different. Let me tell you, every one of us could be sitting in our office. What? Well, right true. now. Trying true, to but... figure out how. I'd rather be right here. Right, but you know what? Like you, now, now let's just flip it. When you have a sh kind of a day in your office that it's you're getting your work done, but it's a bit of a cluster. Yeah, Claudia, well, three on the right. That's what I'm having right now. Right here, guys. This is my office. I mean, you don't come to Canada to shoot them one at a time. You know, you come to Canada to see 30, 40, 50, do it and in the blocks, come. and they come. Right here. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go! Nice. Nice shoot, boys. Two drakes, that had to feel. Oh, got a single coming on right here behind us. Single duck, single duck. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, yeah, coming in. Don't move, just don't move, don't move. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Right here, right here. You got the one out front? Yeah, the one out front went down. Yeah, nice shot. That was a widgeon. Claudia. Yeah. Coming around, coming around. Okay, come on in. Ooh, ooh, just don't move. Take a knee, take a knee. Take a knee, take a knee, take a knee. Drill it, drill it. It's out there, but you can kill it. Nice shot, man. Nice shot. Oh, two of them. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Look at the feathers, guys. Look at the feathers. That last Woo! shot. <laughs> Me. 
That like fireworks, man, when that thing got hit. Right side. He's up there. You can kill him. You can kill him straight up, straight up. I'll be damned. Who shot that? Oh! And if it wasn't the pellets that killed him, it was the sudden stop in the mud that did. Who shot that? <laughs> Go, 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 go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there you go, Stuart. Go, go, go. Oh, there, there's our two. I'm done with that. All right. Now I'm pretty sure we're done. If we're not done now, we're done. <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Lots of ice, man. Well, this morning, those ducks just did not want to do it for us. I mean, there was no wind. This, in, in hindsight, I probably should have been on the bigger part of the pond. They were definitely targeting that. This had some ice on it, which may have been caused a bit of the drama that we had, but, and we didn't see the volume, you know, and th this morning, and I've never had this happen, I've been doing this for 28 years. I've guided hundreds of pothole shoots. We, we shot 36, 32 singles this morning and three pairs came in for 40 ducks. It was unreal. The guy shot really well and that's a wrap. You know, time to pack up, go for lunch. Thank you, Claudio. I'm glad you enjoyed it, guys. We still kill them one at a time. I can't believe they decoyed one at a time. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Well, if this was the afternoon, I'd definitely be reaching for a beer. <laughs> what a hunt. Oh, my God.